right, Coach. Uh, finally, uh, wrapping up the the first full season of this of this staff as a in team competition with the MAC championships. Uh, excitement heading into this first MAC meet together. Yeah, I actually can't believe it's here already. I mean, it still feels like 2002 to me. So um, somehow we're at the end of uh, the full year as a coaching staff, and you know, it's been an exciting year. We've had some amazing things happen with school records, and uh, when you just look at the progress of the team in general, uh, we are peaking at the right time, and this is turning out to be what could be a, a pretty amazing weekend on both the guys and the girls' side. Yeah, I know it it's one thing to look at the projections and quite another thing to actually do it in on the track and in the field events but it seems uh, the last couple of weeks peaking at the right time a lot of points have seemed to uh, kind of jump onto the table possibly yeah it's it's something that we had hoped for at the beginning of the year and right now we're finally realizing it uh, Big performances in the throwing events, obviously that's been a consistent thing all year on the women's side, but now on the guys' side we've really moved into some scoring points. Uh, with our sprinters, they're peaking at the right time, and so they're showing maybe even a little bit more than what we thought they were capable of, and so we've got some potential points there as well. Uh, the distances, we've moved into a position where we're a real threat uh, across the board in almost every distance uh, race that there is. and. Uh, the thing is that we have to show up and we really have to compete. I mean, we can't just rely on what we've already done. We have to show up and we have to, to prove that that's the kind of athlete that we are this weekend in order to get those points. You work closely with the men's distance runners and you've got a couple of uh, veteran anchors uh, you can rely on for points and Andrew Dusing, who's figuring to be in the in the thick of things in a lot of events, Stephen Beeblehausen and Zach McBride with some youthful enthusiasm as well uh, working in there. How do you see that group coming together? Well, so we've got the, the 1500 meter group, I think, is full of uh, a lot of potential points with Sean Torpy, Beeblehausen, and Deucing. Um, Deucing comes in ranked number two. He was rank, ranked number one in the conference for a while. Um, but I think as a, as a group, we've got a chance to go surprise some people in how we finish. I think they're ready to go right now. They're all feeling really strong. When you look at the steeplechase on the guys' side, it's um, you know we've got three guys that are right on the edge of uh, the first round qualifying marks, and so you know as much as we want that, we really more than anything we want to score as many points as we can, and and I think that they're all ready for something bigger than they've done. So um, the 10K might be wide open. Uh, we'll see what we can do there. We've got some uh, some really strong juniors that uh, some of them have uh, have had an early season that wasn't exactly what they wanted, but they're finally starting to come on really strong. Um, and then we come back in the 5K, um, just like every other team out there, they're going to be a little bit tired. And so we get to see who's going to show up ready to race after already uh, racing once or twice before. Um, same thing on the girls' side. I mean, obviously, Maria Scavuzzo has run really well this year, and she's ready for something big in the 1500 and the 5K. And then we've got a lot of young blood on the women's side. Uh, Carly Davis is going to be really exciting to watch. And Alesha Volk is always great in the steeplechase. Finally, I guess uh, overall expectations and feel entering this weekend on both sides. Uh, expectations are that if we can go and perform the way that we have been all year, uh, we're going to do really well. I think that, you know, best case scenario, we're we're looking at maybe a third, fourth, fifth spot on the women's side. Um, I think that if we go and really surprise some people, um, we're going to put up a lot more points than they expect. The uh, Obviously, with Amelia Strickler, Danielle Collier, and uh, Martha Zeckley in the throws, I mean, they're all both, or all three of them are regional qualifiers already, and uh, they're going to do they're going to do something really good on the on the field there. All right, good luck this weekend, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, Andrew, uh, kind of the culmination of four years of work here, uh, the final MAC Outdoor Championships for you and uh, some of your seniors this weekend. Uh, as thoughts entering this week. Yeah, uh, definitely really excited. Um, you know, last MAC championships, a lot of a lot of high goals this whole season. Been working hard. Um, you know, so I'm really excited to go out there and compete with the the rest of the MAC and uh, and most importantly with my teammates. Um, got a lot of friends in my races, and uh, I think uh, you know we all work together and do some pretty big things. So definitely excited. On your side of the men's distance runners, it seems uh, really across the board uh, a lot more points are starting to appear on the table um, with some pretty big performances. How's this last uh, month been as far as preparation? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you see, you've been seeing some really big PRs from uh, pretty much everyone in the distance squad. Um, so you know, I think it was really tough to come up with a MAC roster of you know which person because everyone's running so well. Uh, where do you want people? But you know, I think we're getting huge points out of the steeple. Uh, you know, three guys ranked in the top five. Uh, the 15 should be pretty good. We got three strong runners there. Um, you know, the 10K, 
You got guys like Ben and Ryan Pinter running his first one that, um, you know, could do some really big things and surprise some people. So, um, you know, on the distance side, I think it'll be us versus Eastern, kind of like it wasn't crossed. And, uh, you know, I like our momentum right now. Um, and so I, I think we're all expecting pretty big things, and uh, we're excited to see it. Individually, you're in the thick of things uh, yourself in the 15 and the and the five. What would be a, a a dream weekend for you at this? Yeah, um, you know the 15 is kind of in the focus. My pretty much since I've gotten on campus, um, you know, coach telling me, you know, you're going to run 15. So uh, that's kind of the main goal is to get work done in that. Um, you know, it was a top seed all year, so I definitely have the expectation and the the target on my back. I think so. Going out and doing my best in that um, gives me points for the team. And then coming back in the five, um, you know, everyone's coming back. So, you know, anything can happen. It's always kind of a goofy race. And, uh, you know, if, if I'm around with 800 a K to go, I think, uh, you know, I like my chances to get good points in that as well. So, you know, definitely a big weekend for me, but it's something, you know, I've prepared four years for and I'm definitely ready for. Good luck this weekend, Andrew. Thank you so much. All right, Danielle, uh, it's been a pretty uh, successful outdoor season for you and the throwers so far uh, MAC championships this weekend uh, how excited is everyone to really measure themselves against their conference peers yeah I'm definitely excited for it and everyone else as well I mean I talked to coach Peterson the other day about it and I was like I'm excited to see how our team does and everything and see how we score overall as a team and see how we all compete together so individually you've been pretty much wire to wire leading the conference in the the javelin and in a pretty good spot uh, to make it over to prelims as well uh, what are you looking for out of this weekend obviously a mac title would probably be nice yeah a mac title would be nice i really don't worry about my rank i kind of worry about how i feel that day and what i what I, my plans are before that meet but yeah just going into it rank number one i think will be a good it's good for me to have be ranked number one and everything but other than that i'm excited for the meet so team in general seems to be really uh, peaking at the, the right time with some big PRs, some school records over the last few weeks. How confident is everyone kind of across the board to see what they can do this weekend? Yeah, so the last time our whole team was kind of together was in Cincinnati, which was a while ago. So I guess seeing the support from everyone and like teammates and everything is really big for us, cheering for everyone, just seeing your like team out there always cheering for you, which is really big for us. So just being able to score big at this meet will be really big for us. So. Good luck this weekend.